What is up everyone, hope you're all doing great. So today I'm gonna show you 10 free VST plugins for mixing. I think these are pretty fire and some of them are really slept on. So yeah, let's dive straight up into it. Okay, so first off, I'm gonna drag a melody that I will find so we can work with the plugins. Okay, so the first plugin I'm gonna show you is Tape Cassette 2. It's a RC20 alternative for free. Honestly, out of all free RC20 alternatives, I think Tape Cassette 2 has the best detune effect. So let me show you what the effect does. And for the second free plugin I want to show you, I'm going to stick to the Lo-Fi VSTs and this one is Origin by Cymatics. This one and Cassette 2 I use both all the time to achieve a vintage sound for my melodies. And here is how the plugin sounds. So yeah, as you can tell, the best part about it is that you can choose different sounds of noise to add a unique tone to the melody or the beat. But honestly, if I had to stay with one, I would choose Tape Cassette 2 because honestly, I love this wow knob right here. Okay, for the third VST, I'm gonna go to Cymatics once again and I'm gonna go with Space Light. Of course, it has a paid version, but honestly, the free one is really enough to add a nice ambience to your beats. And yeah, here is how it sounds. As you can tell, the free version allows you to choose between three reverb modes, so I really like the long haul one. The spring one mode is really nice to create a unique effect to the melody. Okay, moving on, I'm gonna go with another free reverb VST. And this one is actually a combination of reverb and delay, and it's called Valhalla Supermassive. I'm sure you already have heard about it. And honestly, the only preset that I really like about it is the Reverb 2000. And I just take down the mix knob like this. Other than that, it has some really weird presets, and yeah, I'm gonna play some of them for you.
tricky as you can tell if you're into weird sound design this plugin is for you another really nice plugin that is also reverb is ambience and honestly you can just get the demo version and be done with it and honestly this is really nice to make dark beats and more ambient sound i started using it recently and i'm really satisfied with it make sure you take the dry knob all the way up once again and just take down the wet knob and do your own tweaks and it sounds like this So yeah, it's really good to create some dark sounds that have a lot of ambience to them. Okay, next up, let's go to Valhalla Space Modulator. And this one has really weird effects. As you can tell, it has different chorus effects and uh, doublers and really some weird stuff. So yeah, let's see some of them. Yeah, I really use it to add some nice tone to my melodies and make them sound a bit more weird and unusual. Next up, I have Pancake 2, which is probably my favorite of the list. And I say that because it's an auto panning VST and you just set the mix knob to the percentage you like and you have an auto panning effect and it goes like this. Personally, I don't really use it for my melodies, usually I add it on my hi-hats or on a bad sound that I have to complement the rest of the melody. Next up, I have Vocal Doubler, which is from Isotope, and honestly, it's really nice for vocals, but I also use it to create a doubling chorus effect, and it sounds like this. Not sure if you can tell the difference, but it really makes the sound wider. Okay, next up I have this really nice chorus VST which is called Magic Switch by Baby Audio and you just click on this knob and tweak it to set the amount of chorus you want and it sounds like this. This is probably my go-to chorus VST. Okay, for the last one, I'm gonna go with a fast type of distortion VST, which is called Faturator. And yeah, I just took down the mix knob all the way down, so you can slowly hear the effect, and it goes like this. Thank you. 
So yeah, that's about it for those 10 free VSTs that I wanted to share with you. I think most of them are really nice for making melodies, but you can also add them to your drums, mostly your hi-hats or your percussion, so you can add some extra tone to it. Remember that I have all those free VSTs linked down below, so they are easy to find. And yeah, if you found it useful, make sure you subscribe and like the vid and all that good stuff, and I will see you on the next one. Peace. Thank you.